Next story. Um, oh, this was brilliant. I saw Geroid Reedy uh, share this on Twitter. I don't know if he actually made this, but it's pretty good. Um, the types of stories about Japan, uh, the, the cliched stories about Japan. I thought this summed it up pretty well. I don't know if there's any that are missing. But check this out. This is this is wonderful. Um, definitely worth sharing. Hey, a lot of people are old. Yes, that story happens from time to time. 20,000 words on the fact I had to use a fax machine today. I have definitely done rants about using fax machines when I've had to use them, which I still have to do. So yes, that is a thing. Mystical tithing techniques no one actually uses. Uh, Marie Kondo jab there, which definitely that, that happens thing that was actually a story in 2012 that happens people who take stories out of old stories from japan and recycle them like their new stories like people marrying their pillows and stuff like that that definitely um <laughs> you know that happens um debt and zero interest rates what a broken financial system published in 2006 again this guy's a financial reporter so i kind of get that but the old um yes that the japanese economy is broken um eyeball licking or something <laughs> i saw it on twitter uh, yes, the latest freaky um, thing that I saw, one example of that I will say is a trend in Japan that definitely happens as well because there's no fact checking on reporting on Japan. Uh, remember these places from Lost in Translation? We hope so because it's the only movie set in Japan that we've seen. Again, that's very specific, but it sounds kind of plausible. Uh, it was a good movie, actually. I haven't seen it for years, but it's a good movie. Most of those places have probably changed now as well, but yeah sex robots porn whatever reason uh they're not having sex in japan it's not for complex it's not social complex social change until it happens in my country uh amen yes i i love it how japan is like you know sex crazed perverted and and sexless all at the same time and, and it's somehow unique but even though the same statistics on um you know declining uh young population and birth rates are all over europe even north america now japan is just ahead of the curve but yes you won't believe what came out of this vending machine yes the underwear and vending machine which i've never seen uh never dies that's pretty cool um they like cartoons even though they're adults isn't it weird turn to page nine for exclusive analysis of last night's episode of the mandalorian of course the the bad batch currently the it's amazing i should have talked about the bad batch by the way um i didn't realize i, I looked it up so so omega a very new zealand way of pronouncing it i've been away for too long i would say omega uh, Omega is voiced by an actual New Zealander. Um, the person who like voices every clone trooper in the Clone Wars and all the animated Star Wars stuff, I didn't realize was uh, the same guy. And apparently, it's a Californian guy doing a kind of a Tim Werner Morrison, um, you know, New Zealand accent attempt. And it comes out, you know, it's not perfect. Uh, it, sometimes it sounds a bit Kiwi. Sometimes it sounds a little bit Australian. Sometimes it sounds a bit like, what the hell is that? But it's not bad, actually. Uh, I, I'm actually super impressed it's an American doing it. It doesn't sound like a Kiwi, Kiwi, but but he varies the voice. He does every single character, like, in that show. It's very good. Um, but, yeah, no, proving my point. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, anime is kind of, I think now a lot more mainstream than it used to be uh this thing has been popular in my country for six months isn't popular uh the thing that has been popular in my country for six months isn't popular here so so backwards yeah i remember so many articles about how japan was backwards for not like thinking facebook was a good thing and I've, i always maintained at the time that japan was actually right <laughs> and i think now the world if they actually went back and saw those stories would agree that japan was right and Monster Wolf, apparently this is a specific jab at a specific story that was actually written by someone else at Bloomberg, uh, which is specifically about a scarecrow that was actually a Monster Wolf. So yes, uh, Sainted Sir, good to have you in the chat. Um, yeah, yeah, so these tropes, are, these are definitely types of news story about Japan. I think they covered it pretty well. I, I'm trying to think, are there any other tropes that I can think of? Like, I, I think they captured most of them, so yeah, um, good job on those. Back